We got announcements of the broadcast teams. Everyone seems very happy about that. Are Hawks fans going to be able to see these games when the season begins? That's the question on everybody's mind. I can't. Well, if you have Direct TV, you will be able to. If you have Direct TV Stream, and if you have UVerse, you are guaranteed to be able to see those games. If you have any other platform, you're you have to wait. Uh, they are working. They are. I know they are working day and night with all these distributors to get distri- distribution everywhere. It is not an easy task. It is not easy in this environment, in this media environment that we're in. Certainly. Um, so I can guarantee those three platforms, but the other ones, we're going to have to wait and see if they're available at launch. Now, the real question becomes not so much the launch date, I would think, because if you think back to when the Cubs went on marquee, uh, the preseason was not available on Comcast. They waited until that horrible summer of 2020, opening day in July. So I know uh, RCN at the time had it. DirecTV was the first, like CHSN, to have it. But Comcast didn't sign on until the games counted. So while the goal for them would certainly be launch day, October 1st, other outlets may be looking more at opening night uh, for the Blackhawks and or the Bulls to get their to get the um, uh, channel on the screen. All right, so help me understand this. And you, you wrote this in your in your piece yesterday that sometimes we encourage everyone to check it out. We, we retweeted it yesterday that Thank you. Comcast, who is Comcast Xfinity, who is the carrier for most people in the Chicagoland area are difficult to negotiate with. And in this time frame of people cutting the cord, jumping to Hulu live or YouTube TV or whatever, you know, uh, Fubo, whatever else it might be. Don't these companies realize that sports is the fastest way to make someone pull that trigger. My dad is 78 years old. He is writing me in a panic. Where am I going to be able to watch the Hawks games? I need to get direct TV. I'm like, Sl- slow down. I had to talk him off the ledge today. I said, there's still a chance you get it. But how do these companies not understand that if you are if you want to gain or lose customers, carrying the local sports networks is the way to do it? Well, to a point. If you recall back in the, uh, you know, 80s, 90s, when cable it was it was blossoming and into the 2000s, there were lots of complaints from non-sports fans that they were subsidizing the sports channels for the sports fans. And they were right. There's a statistic that's been out there for years. 10% of you know a cable audience is, is watching the sports channels and the rest are watching everything else. So as sports fans, we were being subsidized by the non-sports fans. So fast forward to, you know, this past, late this past decade and and now this decade where streaming is on the forefront and all of a sudden the sports leagues and sports networks are finding other outlets to broadcast on over the internet. And we've had our day of reckoning because now sports fans have to go get Peacock and they have to get Paramount and this and that to watch their sports because the companies have seen that they're only selling those sports packages to a small percentage of their audience. So while the sports fans may be the loudest in that audience, uh, they are also the smallest in that audience. So in that respect, cable sees this as an opportunity to right the wrong of why are we paying these exorbitant costs to carry these channels when only a small percentage of our audience is watching them. So hence they're trying to put them Comcast in particular, on the highest tier of their programming, which is the ultimate TV tier. And uh, Crane Kenny, the Cubs president of business operations has said he's concerned that they will move marquee there. NBC Sports Chicago has been grandfathered in through this. So they never had to leave the basic tier. They've been on Hulu, they've been on YouTube, but now those distribution deals are gonna end September 30th and CHSN will start its own. So there's no guarantee that They'll be anywhere on these channels or these streaming services, but they have to make those deals first. We all silly like the mayor. 